our bingo patterns real? Hey guys, what's up? So it's part 2 of the KUF skin draws, and this time, I'll complete the collection. On this video, I'll be using the phase 1 of the recharge events. You already know how this works, so let's start burning diamonds. So my first bingo spot is on the top right corner. On to the second draw. Wait a minute, I don't believe in any bingo patterns, but this one looks eerily familiar. If you remember from my earlier video where I got Kyo, my pattern started exactly this way. First draw is 3 and then 6. If patterns are real, then my next draw should give me the number 4 spot. Let's find out. What the f- my prediction is correct, I got the number 4 spot. I'm beginning to believe bingo patterns are real. Anyway, based on my previous video, my next draw should give me the number 2 spot. Here we go. Oh crap, is this a coincidence? First 4 draws is exactly the same as my earlier video. Okay, one last draw to decide if patterns are real. According to my previous draw, my next slot should be at the number 9 spot. Let's do this. And boom! I got the exact pattern. It's real, guys. On my two tries, I got the same 36429 pattern. I've always believed that patterns are fake and it's all about random luck. But now we have proof. Anyway, let's check what skin will I get. And it's Terry Bogard. Power up! Hey, come on, come on. And my skin tag is 19,263. 19,000 players have already bought the skin ahead of me. Total spent is 5,175 diamonds, but that's 5 draws and we only used one recharge event. As for this design, I really like the texture of his jeans. By the way, Terry Bogard's fighting style is a bit similar to Paquito's boxing prowess. Both are adept in close combat situations using their fists. However, do note that Terry can do kickboxing while Paquito is limited to his fists. Anyway, let's check out the in-game effects. Power Gazer, which is Terry's most iconic move, can be seen in his ultimate. I also like the champ stance where Paquito glows with light. And there's an overlay effect on his ultimate. So if you use a triple ultimate combo, you can extend the fire overlay. As expected from a KOF skin, the sound effects is superb and action packed. Okay, enough with Terry and let's go back to the draw event. I'm going to draw again until I get Masha's my skin. Hopefully, we get a much lower amount of draws this time. So first draw and it went on the number 8 spot. Well, at least it's not the same as before. For the second draw, it's on the 7th spot. Third draw and it went to the spot number 4. And there you have it. I completed the bingo with only 4 draws. Looks like a new pattern emerged. 8749. So total spent is 7200 diamonds. But remember, we didn't use any free tokens this time. Now let's check Masha's skin type. And it's 18,765. As expected, Mai is as beautiful as ever. If you don't know yet, Mai is the last Shirinui ninja heiress and the girlfriend of Andy Bogard, which is Terry's younger brother. Some players say Hanabi should have replaced Masha, but I think Masha fits her better with her fiery and temperamental character. Anyway, completing the KOF collection will get you this notice. If we head to the gallery section, we can get a free My Emote. 
And if you've noticed, my Terry Bogart skin tag is higher than my, even though I got my last. It means each skin have their own separate tags. Anyway, it's time to check my's in-game effects. Her first skill looks so flashy with that fire effect. Here we can see my signature weapon on her second skill. And these are her different forms when losing her HP bars. And what better way to taunt your enemy than lying on the ground just like this? So far, Mash's skin looks amazing. Adding a little physics could have skyrocketed her sales, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, we still have a second recharge event, and it could save you a ton of diamonds. If we do the math and include all the free tokens and daily discount, you'll only need to spend around 2,000 plus diamonds to get a KOF skin. And it can even go lower if you get lucky with a 4 or 3 times bingo draw. So what can you say about the new KOF series? Which one had the best effects? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.